here's your problem. It's 1979 and you want to listen to Christmas music, but you just can't stop listening to disco. What do you do? Fortunately for 1979 you, there was Disco Noel. Disco Noel contains eight Christmas songs, each given the full disco treatment. It's like Santa Claus is hanging out at Studio 54 with Liza Minnelli and Andy Warhol. Disco Noel isn't disco music that happens to be holiday music, it's holiday music that happens to be disco. Therefore, when it was released, it failed both as a disco album and as holiday music. I can't think of anything less disco than Christmas, or anything less Christmas than disco. You can get the same great Christmas disco taste from this platter called, appropriately enough, Christmas Disco. Christmas Disco was released in 1978, while Disco Noel hit store shelves in 1979. The record sleeve says Disco Noel was performed by Mirror Image. Christmas Disco puts the blame on the Mistletoe Disco Band. Both releases contain the same songs, just in different order, and the albums were released by different labels. Disco Noel originally came with a Disco Dance Step lesson. Sadly, the lesson plan belonging to the album I purchased from my favorite local record store was lost to the glories of Christmases long, long ago. Several of these types of albums were released in the late 1970s and early 1980s, obviously to capitalize on the Christmas dance craze and the hit movie Christmas Eve Fever. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't sound right. Oh well, it's not important. Disco Noel and Christmas Disco aren't as atrocious as you might assume. There are some halfway decent moments, like the solo from Sleigh Ride. The funky break in Jingle Bell Rock. This bit from Winter Wonderland. Or these dreamy bars from Santa Claus is Coming to Town. I'm in the camp that great Christmas music needs to be old and traditional. Disco Noel is still not traditional, but in 2022 it is considered old, and thanks to the passage of time, it does have a certain kish factor and a wee bit of charm. Think of it as one of those Christmas decorations you don't want to throw away, but you don't like enough to play somewhere other than in the spare bedroom. 